Hey everybody, Mark here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're going to do something I haven't done too often lately. Um, there's a lot of channels that are doing it, um, but that's all well and good. Um, but I'm going to do uh, an unboxing of something that arrived this morning. I actually had to go to the post office to pick it up. It came from Japan. That might give you a little hint. Came from Japan. Took, took about 10 days to get here, which is, is about the average. Um, I'm out of breath because I've just been running around. But uh, they tried to deliver it yesterday, I guess, because it was an international um, package. Some of them, they have to be signed for. Or you have, they have to scan it, and then on the little machine, you got a little handheld device. You got to uh, sign your name to it. So uh, I got the notification that, that uh, I missed them. So this morning, I went and uh, took my wife to work, dropped my girls off at school, and came by the post office, and here it was. Now... There's no do-overs with this because my last few videos, I've had to do five and six takes just because I garbled what I was saying or uh, wasn't real clear or said something which I just, I felt like an idiot saying, so I would scratch it and start over. So there, there's no do-overs with this one. As you can see, uh, it is it is sealed. I should be able to get it open pretty easy. It's kind of like that really easy to open uh, masking tape. And there's a little crease in here, a little spot, as you can see. It's partially open, so that'll make it a little bit easier. I will say, before I open this, this is something that I've been after for a very long time. Um, and uh, just just been looking for it, looking for it. And about two weeks ago, it was a couple days into the bidding. It was, it was a bid offer on eBay. And uh, what's inside, I really expected it to go shoot up. Because some, some of these pressings I've seen have gone up, you know, a decent amount of money. Nothing crazy, but a decent chunk of change. And uh, at the end of the bid, I won it. Um, and I will tell you, <laughs> I got it for, I think, $7.50. And the shipping for it, because it's come from Japan, was 27 bucks. So the shipping was almost four times that much. So without further ado, uh, don't want to take much of your time. We'll go ahead and open this. And we shall take a look. All right. And uh, yeah, really excited to get this. We'll take a look at it. It was described as near mint, uh, both the jacket. I think the jacket was considered excellent condition and the vinyl near mint. But, drum roll, my favorite album. An original living stereo. Should be on the Victor label, if I remember. Uh, of course, it has the different back. It's got the lyrics, both in Japanese and in English. So a little bit of yellowing, but you know, what's to be expected from an album this old. So we will take a look. And then what I will do is I will put it on the turntable. Uh, oh, there we go. I'll put it on the turntable uh, likely uh, tomorrow and uh, give it a listen. And we'll go from there. So it looks like, I don't think this isn't the original inner liner, but no big deal. Now, I will tell you, I am a huge, oh, it's double bagged. There we go. I am a giant fan of the Black Victor label. And just looking at it on well, first glance, looks really great. Very clean. Doesn't look like I even barely have to clean it. You can see it's shimmering. Um, perfect, perfect label. I just love that Black Victor label. I don't know what it is about it. Just absolutely love it. It says Super Record. I didn't realize until recently, um, watching a video from a gentleman who has a channel, which I just recently discovered, Speaker's Corner, which I did subscribe to. I think I was subscribed, but for whatever reason, his videos weren't popping up in my feed. But I watched his latest video, and he talked about a couple Japanese pressings he got. So check out his channel, Speaker's Corner. Um, if I would have thought of it, I would have put the link in the video, which I still can do. Uh, but there is, I keep holding this up. Okay, Mark, how many, how many times do I show this? This is side two, but man, look how clean and pristine it looks. Like, it looks like a brand new record. Um, so you can never tell. I've always said you can never tell by that. I have had records that I've gotten that were described in, you know, mint minus, near mint condition. Put them on the turntable and, you know... I felt like I was eating a bowl of Rice Krispies. So you can never really go by 
to me, and, and that's why also I usually don't buy from anybody who says, oh, it looks mint. And then in parentheses or below, it'll say visually graded. Can't go by that. Let me tell you, you just can't. Um, sometimes you get a gem. Um, I'm hoping this is a gem. And sometimes you get a dud. So I am hoping that this is the prior, that it is a gem, that it's clean, that it's quiet. But, you know, hey, for... <laughs> For $7.50, can't go wrong, so we shall see. I will put this aside, and then tomorrow, I will give it a listen. So, just wanted to share that uh, with you. Of course, that's my favorite. Elvis's Golden Records Volume 3 is my favorite album. I have many, many different variations of that album. Uh, that and Blue Hawaii, they're my two favorite. Um, well, Blue Hawaii is my favorite soundtrack. I don't, don't know where I would rank Blue Hawaii as my is my all-time favorite, but maybe I'll do a video on my top 10 favorite albums. Um, so yeah, um, got some video ideas, got a couple requests for some FTD soundboard release reviews. Uh, we'll be doing those in the coming days, uh, but do want to thank all of you that have left your kind comments on my channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, we will see you soon. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.